What's up guys? Uh, There's a pretty good video that's been going around of a cop who does a really nice hip throw on a guy who's advancing towards him, kind of getting into his personal bubble to get him right into handcuffing. Um, well, that guy did a lot of really, really good stuff in that one. So first thing he did was once that guy kind of starts to get into your space, first thing you're doing is you want to control that guy's hands. You want to keep your ear on his shoulder. The reason you want to do that is because if I stay back, this guy can still headbutt me, right? Still use his head as a weapon. So I'm gonna stay here, close that distance. Once I'm here, I'm gonna get an underhook, and I'm always gonna try and get an underhook with my gun side. From there, step, pivot, pull that arm across, now I get that overhook. The key for this one is to not get my hips uh, not far enough. So if my hips aren't far enough and I try and finish this throw, this guy can just swing right around to the side. Now I gotta start all over again. So once I'm here, ear on their shoulder, underhook, overhook, set our, our hips, get them all the way through, drop our hips below their belt line, straighten our legs. We're gonna dip our shoulder and lift that underhook arm, he's gonna drop. From here, we've got a few options. We can land and either knee on belly. From this knee on belly, we can push that arm across, work to get him onto his stomach. And then from here, we can start working handcuffing, put your arms behind your back. If he's compliant, if he's not compliant, and he tucks those hands or he posts up, he posts, we can just control that arm, pry that behind, and then work the other arm. Um, or if he lands and we end up kind of going right with him into side control, where a lot of people, your momentum is gonna take you right into that side control position. First thing we're doing is, in a lot of states, we can't use our shoulder to drive against their cheek and drop our weight because, um, some states that looks like a choke, so they banned it. So another good option from there is we don't want to stay in this position long anyways, because if we're here, we're ex uh, exposing our bicep for their mouth, for them to bite us. So first thing I'm gonna do, control that forearm, because that's the arm we're gonna attack. With this inside arm, step over, we're gonna staple. Now they can't use this arm to grab any of the tools on our belt, so that we have that arm controlled. Now we're gonna go back to this arm, set up a nice Kimura grip, so we're gonna take that arm side, the head side arm, come underneath, palm down, control our wrist, bring that hand in, pull him up onto his side, get that arm behind that back into a nice Kimura. Once they're on their side, we can step over into a mount, drive them down onto their back, and then pin that hand on their back and give them commands, put your hands behind your back, they'll either comply and we can cuff, or they'll fight, they'll base that hand out, Grab those fingers, pry that out, put that behind, and then we can start working on handcuffing from here.